G'day guys, we're back in the shed and today I'm installing probably my new favorite bit of gear onto the big 76 here. And that is of course the Adventure Kings 270 degree freestanding awning. Now there's a couple of things that you're gonna need to keep in mind before you go out and get your hands on one of these. Number one is that they're only suited to aluminium platform racks. Now the one on the 76 here is a Yakima style, but they will work with other different brands as well. They're not actually designed to be used on a steel roof rack without major modifications. Now the second thing you need to keep in mind, which actually follows on from the first, is that you're gonna have to go out and get yourself some T-bolts or captive nuts to suit your specific platform rack. Now these are pretty much generic and interchangeable with most brands, but just make sure you check with your manufacturer to be sure. Rightio, so let's get stuck into it. The first thing you need to do is open up the box and lay out all the components. Inside the box, you'll find the mounting brackets themselves, the rubber foot pads, which will go underneath those, but we'll get to that in a moment. All the mounting hardware, like the nuts and bolts and washers and all that. Some pegs and straps to tie the awning down in high winds, as well as a little carry bag. Sweet, so with everything laid out, we're now gonna mount the brackets to the roof rack itself. First, we're gonna place these rubber foot pads down, which helps soak up vibrations, followed by the brackets themselves. Okay, so you might have noticed that the rack on the 76 here is positioned as far back as I possibly could. The back edge is pretty much in line with the rear gutter here. Now, the reason for that is because when I put this awning on, we want the rear bracket to be as close to the hinge as possible. The closer the rear bracket is to the hinge on the awning, the stronger the awning is as a whole. So now we're gonna actually mount them to the platform rack, but we're gonna leave them finger tight in the rails here just so we can adjust them later on before we actually tighten them down completely. Another thing you need to keep in mind is these slots here are designed for an M8 size, no bigger. So don't go for an M10. So just make sure you get the M8 size that suit your rack. Sweet, so these are loosely on, very, very loose. Now I'm just gonna slide them through the rails here. Beautiful. Now we're gonna repeat this step for the other two brackets. So the brackets are loosely mounted against the platform rack. Now we're gonna take the PVC bag off the awning itself. And to do that, I'm just gonna roll it over here, unzip it, and then peel it off backwards. And when you're taking the PVC bag off, you'll notice a couple of hook and loop straps. There'll be one at the very far end, and then two in the middle. Okay, so now we've got the awning just by itself. Now we're gonna flip it over to this side, which will reveal these channels here and these channels here. Now you might notice on the 76 here, the two brackets for the very back of the awning are mounted as close together as possible. That's because I want them to sit as much onto this stainless steel bracketry here as possible. Now the maximum distance between the rear hinge here and the first bracket is 200 millimeters. The next one can sit off it, but in an ideal world, you have both rear brackets mounted to this. And at the front end of the awning, which is gonna sit right above the passenger window there, the maximum distance between the front edge here and the first bracket is a thousand millimeters. So now we're gonna grab our bolts and slide them into this channel here using this cutout. We'll put two up the top and two down the bottom on this bracket, and then we'll put one on each channel on this side here. Once the bolts are roughly where they need to be, you can go ahead and thread the plain stainless steel nuts onto the bolts, but leave them finger tight for the moment. So now's the part where you're gonna need to get a mate to give you a hand in lifting the awning up so we can line these bolts up. So my cameraman's gonna jump in here for a second so we can offer it up, line these up with the mounts that are already on the platform rack and we'll see how we go. Now that the bolts are through the brackets, we can add the nylock nuts to the back end here to hold the awning in place, but we're also gonna leave these ones finger tight for the moment also. Okay, so the awning is mounted to the brackets just loosely for the moment. Now's the time when we can actually fix the brackets themselves down properly to the roof rack. So we're gonna go along and tighten these up, but just make sure everything's perfectly in line with the roof rack here. Now, if you were to mount one of these off to this side here, so not on the stainless steel bracket here, you'd need to give five millimeters back this way in relation to this one to allow for the thickness of this bracket. So I'm just gonna give everything a final check over and then nip everything up. Okay, so all the brackets are nice and tight to the platform. Everything's lined up perfectly. Now, the next step we're gonna go ahead and do is tighten up these back nuts, the ones without the nylock. Not these ones, the ones on the inside. So the reason we're doing that is to keep the bolts in the exact same position for when we go to refit the bag. Now everything's mounted to the awning. Now we just gotta open the awning up and just make sure everything clears. If we need to make any adjustments, we can take it off and do that. I'm just gonna grab here. 
walk out. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now we're just gonna fold it back up, take the awning off and we'll move on to the next step. So as you can see, I've got the awning off the vehicle, face down with these bolts pointing up. Now these bolts are still tightened up with the plain nuts here. We're gonna leave them tight for the moment. Now we're gonna refit the bag. Just make sure when you do this, you get the right end. So the Adventure Kings logo goes at the far end, which will be at the very front of the vehicle. Okay, so the bag is now back onto the awning. Now you might notice when you're putting it back on that it might be a little bit tight. That's just because of the extra length of the bolts on the back here. But as long as when it's refitted, there's no dramatic twists in it and it looks nice and straight. So line everything up perfectly. Now onto the next step, which is, I'm gonna flip this over and locate where the bolts are and mark them out with a texter. Then we're gonna make a little hole for them to slide through. So those are all marked out perfectly. Now we're gonna take the bag off again. Now the reason we need to take the bag off is because we need to get those nuts, the plain nuts we spoke about earlier, we need to take them off before we put everything back onto the car. Now you might be tempted to make a big enough hole to get the nuts off from the outside here without taking the bag off, but trust me, it's way better to take the bag off and make as small a hole as possible on the backside here. So we've set the bag aside, now we're gonna take these plain nuts off completely, then refit the bag once more and slide these bolts into the holes that we just made on the bag. So we're on the home stretch here. Now what we need to do is get these rubber flat washers that you'll find in the kit followed by a stainless steel flat washer and place the rubber washer on top of each one of these bolts first, followed by another steel flat washer like that. That's offered up perfectly. Now we're gonna put another stainless steel flat washer on this side, followed by the nylock nut itself. And then just gotta tighten everything up. Now one final note when you're tightening these nylock nuts up is you don't want to go too crazy with how tight you're doing them up because you could end up stripping the inside off. Now if you've got a torque wrench, the recommended torque setting is 10 newton meters on the outside here. How good is that? Super easy to install, but if you're not super confident in installing one of these yourself, feel free to book it in with one of our stores that offer in-house fitting. Now all that's left to do is head to camp and set it up for the first time. Okay, so now that we're out at camp, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to set it up and then pack it away again. First up, unzip the heavy duty transit bag and fold it over to the back. Then undo these two hook and loop straps. Grab the end of the awning here with the cam buckle on it. Then walk it all the way to the rear of your vehicle. Then take the strap with the carabiner on it and find somewhere to secure it to your roof rack. Once you've done that, you can then feed the strap through the cam buckle on the awning itself and then pull it tight. That's all there is to it. And packing it away is just as easy. It's simply the reverse of setting it up. All you gotta do is unstrap it from the side of your vehicle, walk it back around, secure the material with the hook and loop straps, zip up the bag and you're done.